What's up YouTube fans? Today I want to take a look at the Fans Toys Recorder, their version of a Masterpiece Blaster. So I did do an unboxing for this, but I actually got one of the steps wrong. So I'm going to show you again how to kind of get this adjusted out of box. He does look a little funky out of box. So first thing you're going to do is pull down on the arms. There's a locking point right here and a locking point at the top. So pull that all the way down. You'll hear it click into the bottom. See that's not click. See how it's sliding? There we go. So that's locked. Same on this one. Pull this down and lock that in. And you should be able to lift up on the arms and it should be locked in place. Next, if your waist is shifted to the left, you want to just center it. Mine was slightly shifted. Then you're going to come to the heels here. So bend the toe forward, bend this open. And there's a little tab right here. And this is actually what holds the heel. I actually meant showed to bend this as a heel spur. You don't want to do that. You want to bend this forward. It goes on to that little lip and then you're going to fold that back and now it has some resistance to kind of hold the foot up All right so here's the other one you can see it's kind of folded inwards so fold the foot forward fold that up fold this in and then fold that back and now we got our feet in place and now he's ready for action and I will say the paint is really nice and beautiful basically red paint all throughout, you've got the gunmetal here for the thighs and the uh, biceps. A gray paint here, it's got a little bit of a fleck to it. That same gunmetal paint here and on the sides. That red paint here on the front. Here's the back. It is very clean, just like a blaster should be. I do have a QC sticker, QC Pass 32. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Pretty clean overall. For his articulation, the head is on a rotating swivel, so it gets up to there, and you can kind of see the joint back here. You can see it opening and closing, but down to there, up to there, rotates all the way around. No side to side movement because it's not on a ball joint. Rotation at the shoulder on a ratchet, nice feeling ratchet. Goes up to there on a hinge. Rotation at the bicep double jointed elbow and make sure again that you have this extended all the way but there is a joint there on that inside piece so you can get the full bend rotation at the wrist in and out movement at the wrist fingers individually articulated at one two three pins thumb on a ball joint and a pin you can not point and then each of these fingers are individually articulated they have basically taken their design and they now rounded their fingers off I do like them they do a good job with the hands I, I didn't have a problem with their original kind of squared off, but these are fine too. Going to the waist, you have a waist rotation here. You have a minuscule ab crunch. That's it. You can see there's a cut right there to give you an ab crunch. Almost not there. Not even sure why they bothered with it. <laughs> Legs rotate up to there. Pretty far, actually. It's a little bit heavy. There's a lot of die cast in the leg. So it's a little heavy to hold, but can't hold it. Back to here, due to the sculpt, it basically stops right there. Out to the side on friction, gets you all the way out. Rotation of the thigh at a cut joint. It does break the sculpt a little bit. You have a double jointed knee. The top joint is a ratchet, the bottom joint is friction. So it does get you the full bend. You have ankle tilts out to there, out to there, forward, and back. All right, now let's take a look at the gimmicks and accessories. And of course, it wouldn't be a blaster without an opening chest here. So there's a button right here. It is a die cast chest painted in this glossy yellow. If you press that button, it's a really nice mechanism. It feels really good closing and opening. It's well designed. And then there's an inner panel here. If you push that back, it'll click into place. Come to the back side, there's a button right there. So if you push down on that button, it'll pop that chest. So you can store two tapes, one in here and one in there. Here is the tape. They call him Fast Forward, but his name is Rewind. So just kind of funny that they've chose that name. It's got some gold paint there, metallic silver, and some off-white. 
looks really nice. This will fit right here in the chest and you can close that up and it looks really good. You can actually see the tape through there. That's nice. Now if you were going to store two tapes, we don't have the other tapes yet, but you're going to push back on this. You're going to take this tape, you're going to insert the bottom first and then kind of slide it upwards so the top goes in. And getting this out can be a little tricky, so I only recommend doing this if you really, really want to. Uh, but you can close this up, and now you can put a second tape in that front part. To take it out, I would recommend you push the bottom back, grab a spudger. You're going to get a spudger into here, and basically slide the top forward while holding the bottom back. And you'll get it down like that, and then you can slide it out. Like I said, that's not very easy to do. It's definitely easier than deformation space, uh, which actually just gets stuck in there. Um, but because it's kind of tight, I mean, it, I don't have any paint scrapes or anything, so it's okay so far. But I do recommend, you know, have a little caution if you're gonna put that second tape in there. All right, let's take a look at the tape itself and get him transformed. Looks pretty good, tape mode. It does come with a little cassette cover here, so if you want to store them in here, you can. Again, I don't know who would store it and display it this way. Uh, speaking of these tape covers, Icon 3D Lab does make little printouts for these, so I wonder if they're going to make one for the blaster tapes. But let's get this guy transformed. So first we're going to take these panels here, you're going to fold inwards and make up his chest panels. There's a little stopper right there. Do that on both sides. We're gonna take the legs, fold these down, fold this panel down, fold the leg around. Same on this side. Take the arms, bring these down. We're gonna extend the arm on a double hinge. Come to the inside here, we're gonna fold out the hand. Bring that down. Same on this side, fold out the hand, extend the arm. Come to the back here. And we're going to take these feet, fold these down 180 degrees, rotate around, bring that back. Same on this side, fold this down, rotate 100 degrees, and bring it back. And those are the two gun parts. I wanted to show you, this is how it's configured. Now they actually show it the wrong way in the video manual. So this one you want the pointy part down, and that one you want the circle part on the top, and the long part on the side. So it should look like that. Go ahead and just get those out of there. And if it doesn't come out, I mean, it should just knock out of there. Then we're going to take the waist and extend the waist. We're just going to pull up here until it goes all the way up and actually locks into place. Make sure you get it all the way up, otherwise you won't have it looking right. And you can tell because you should have that sculpted detail exposed, right? And it locks in place. Come to the back, rotate the head up and forward. And there is fast forward in his robot mode. I really like how this looks. Nice gold paint here. A pearlescent paint on the head. Orange painted face with metallic blue eyes. It does really look good. And there he is next to Blaster. Make sure you get the feet, you know, kind of folded back in. But I really like the way it looks next to him. For the gun, these are the two parts we took out. We're going to come to this one here. You to fold out the handle. It's very tight, teeny tiny. So, you know, working with it, you got to be careful. But fold that handle down. You're going to take this part here, and this is going to plug in to the front here. Make sure you get the right side. And there you go. There's his gun. Now, you can fold this down, not really sure what it's for, but you can fold the tip down. But let's take this, we'll put that into his hand. There you go. We also get some accessories here for recorder. So first of all, we get his speakers here, done in this really shiny gold, same gold chrome as that. You want to fold the hands up into a fist like that, and then this is going to fit right on top like that. It does look good. And just to show you both, here's the other one. And it doesn't have really a direction or anything, you can just put it wherever you want, but 
Boom. He's got some tunes to play. All right. You also get his blaster here. Done in a nice gunmetal gray. And we can take these off. And it's a little annoying to get it off. And I, I haven't had an issue with scrap, scraping the paint, but you just want to be careful putting those on and off. So go ahead and open up the hand. And we'll get the thumb pointed. And it does fit nicely. You got a nice little tab. And there you go. You can get the fingers around. I think it's a really good looking blaster. I, I do feel like it should be maybe a little bit longer. Maybe again, because I've gotten so many toys with bla of blaster with a big gun, maybe I got used to that. But it does look really good. I like the sculpted detail and the look of that gun. All right, the last few accessories you get here are alternate faces and heads. But this is the stock face. It comes kind of pre-installed. I really don't like the look of this face. Fortunately, you get a bunch of faces to choose from, and there are better ones. But I just don't like the shape of the eyes. I think they were going for super, super tune accuracy. I'll try to put an image there so you can see it. But there's the stock face. To change it out, you basically lift up on this head, un unpeg it so it comes apart like that. You're going to lift up on this face. It's just on two little tabs like that. Then we can take the other style. This is the... Kind of bigger eyes, get that plugged in, and there you go for the straight face with the bigger eyes. I much prefer this face. I don't know what it is, it's just this one just doesn't look right to me. All right there is it with the rounded eyes and kind of a smiling face. That also looks pretty good. There it is with the rounded eyes and a laughing face, also pretty good. I probably wouldn't display it with this one, but I think it's uh, good looking overall. And there he is back with the more triangular eyes and the yelling face. Me personally, I prefer the rounded eyes, but you have these options. Now, you can also swap out the head for the toy style head. So you're going to, again, lift this up. This is on a slider. You can slide this back on those. Here's your toy style head. You're going to basically open this up. Just like you did the other one, slide it forward on that joint, close it up, and there is your toy style head. I think that's really cool for those that want to display him in the kind of the toy look. Pretty well done. It is fully painted just like the rest, and it can transform with this if you want to because it opens up just like the other face. Nice looking ears. Overall, a really cool head there. And for size comparisons, there it is next to the Magic Square Optimus Prime and the Fans Toys version of Jazz. And he looks really good. And I'm just going to bring in a movie crew guy just for a second. There he is next to Cup. Fits in nicely, about the right size that I'd expect him to be. Looks good with other Masterpiece figures. And there's a comparison I think a lot of people want to see next to the Deformation Space Courting Alliance, their version of Blaster. And these guys are really similar in a lot of ways, but also different. Uh, the transformation is definitely very different, but there's a couple of design cues that are different. Now, I don't want to spend too much time here because I'm going to do a full comparison on these two. But there you go for a quick look. All right, now let's get a recorder transformed into his recorder mode. Ha! And I have to say, the transformation is actually pretty simple and fun compared to what it looked like on the Fan Stories video. For some reason, their video just makes it look really complicated. So I'm just going to show you how to transform it the way I figured. So fold the arms up, going to unpeg this panel, fold the panel in, make sure the hand is in a cube like that, and then get that into there. Should just fold flat like that. Then you're going to collapse the arm down, bring this to the side, a little tab right there and a notch. It's going to just sit on that. All right, so same on this side, I'll go a little faster, open this up, open this up, fold that in, fold the hand in, collapse the arm, bring this down, tab it into the side. All right, now we'll take care of the head. So pull the head up on this panel. There's a tiny panel right here, you're going to fold inwards. So fold that in. Open up the head like we did to change out the face. Rotate the arm, or the head this way. Bring this armature down. And that's going to sit on the side of the arm like that. I'm going to lift up this panel here. This is just simply for a smooth panel, but 
You can take this, rotate this 180 degrees, bring that back down, and all that does is just smooth out the top for the tape deck mode. All right, so that's how we're looking so far. Take these pan the legs and bring these up and just sit them down like this. And we'll take care of all that in just a second. Come to the back here, rotate this panel down, fold out these little tabs here. We're gonna bring this out, you're gonna slide it backwards. That'll allow you to rotate this all the way around to this side, tab it back in, and then push it back the other direction. Bring this up and let this sit right here. Then we're gonna take the chest and that is gonna to slide to the right. So it should end up, you know, asymmetrical where the chest is, you know, this way. All right, now we'll work on the legs. The legs are definitely the more challenging part. And before I forget, come to the back here. We're gonna take these panels here. These are gonna open up and tab down here. Same on this one, open this up. Have that down there. And then you can take this panel here, bring this down, and that's gonna sit right there. So the center part is pretty much ready, and all you need to do is the legs. And the legs are the more complicated part, but definitely easier than what the video looks like. Lift up this panel, it's tabbed in right there. Fold that up, fold that up. Don't fold it past that point. If you try to fold it past that point, it'll come off the little pegs on that hinge. Then you take this, open up right here, and this entire panel is gonna open up. You do have to clear this foot, so just kind of make sure you lift up here and over that foot. Bring this whole panel all the way out, so it opens up like that. We'll take care of that in a second. Fold this down, fold this panel down. It has to clear this little tab, so make sure it makes its way around that. Come to the foot here, I'm going to lift up on this foot, so bring that all the way forward. Bring this panel down, fold this panel out. And I know it looks like a lot of little panels, but it actually makes a lot of sense once you're doing it in person. Rotate this around 180 degrees. Open up the foot. We're going to redo, put this panel back the way we had it when we were doing the unboxing. Bring this panel all the way back down. And then on this end, and rotate it flat so it sits with that gray part flat on the back of the uh, foot or the uh, panel here. Right? Take all this, push this back in. It's going to collapse down. There's two little red nubs. It just has to make it past those two little nubs, and then it'll go like that flat. Now we'll work on this. Come to here. We're going to open up this panel here. Basically, separate it right here. Fold that open. Come to this side to take this triangle here that's going to rotate inwards so it sits like that. Now you can take this whole panel, bring this down, and tab it into the bottom here. All right. Come to the back here, you're going to take this little panel, fold that inwards, and don't forget to put that back when you're going to robot mode. Open up all this and we'll take care of this. You can fold that down for now. And you can kind of set it down on the table as you do this part. Open up this panel and open up this panel. And it looks like a lot of panels. And I agree, when I saw the video, I was like, man, that's a lot of flipping. But you're really just making a flat panel here. Open this up, fold this down. So you should end up with this red panel like this. You can slide this in so it collapses. Leave this panel open and leave this panel unslid. So give it a little bit of you know room to, to play. All right, you're gonna rotate this panel 180 degrees. It's going to come and sit down right there on the leg. Come to the back here, and now we're going to take this panel right here, grab this panel, and leave that open like that. And this whole thing's going to come down and rotate on the knee all the way down. And make sure this makes its way to the back and clears all of this. Right. This is going to come down and tab into here, so you want to work this panel first and make sure this panel is open. So tab in this bottom one first, then tab in this one. Then you can close this up as long as those are lined up. Close up that. And then finally you can do this one last, right here on the top. 
If you don't do it in that order, you'll have a little bit of trouble. So I recommend doing it in order one, two, and then three at the top. Now you can close this panel up. That's just going to sit down and rest on top of there. And we're going to come to the back here and we can close this panel up. There's a little tab on the top right here. It's going to fit into the top panel. So close that down and get that pegged in right there. So that's basically one side done. Oh, we have to close this up. So this hook tab will go into here. So get that down and peg that in. And that holds the top part together. Leave this there for now. So this leg is basically identical with the exception of it doesn't have this panel right here. But I'm going to show it to you because it's not exactly symmetrical. If it was, I would just skip it. But I'm going to go a little faster. Hold, open that up. Open that up. Come to the bottom here. Make sure this clears the foot. Fold this all the way open. Come to the inside. Fold this down. Open up this panel here. Make sure it clears a little tab. Open up your foot. Oops. We're going to rotate this 180 degrees. We're going to take this section here. Fold your foot in. Open up this. Fold down that little retaining tab we put in before. Fold that back down. And then fold on the gray piece. You get a nice flat back here. Open up this. Open up this, put this foot back in. Take this panel and we're going to unaccordion all of this and put this back down so it can just sit flat. It kind of helps you to sit it flat on the table. But now we're going to unfurl all these panels and it is very intuitive how it's supposed to go. Basically it should end up looking like that. Come to the inside here, we're going to fold open this panel right here, the speaker. Fold the triangle into the inside, rotate this down and peg it into the bottom. Come to the back, fold that tab down. And this is going to kind of rotate around 100 degrees and accordion and sit down like this. So it should end up like that. Take this whole thing and rotate this at the knee so it makes its way around. Work the bottom panels first, and remember this panel has to be open. So get that in there. Now you can squeeze together this right here. So that goes in. And then last, put this top panel in. Don't do it in that order, you have a little bit of trouble. Now you can take this. This is going to peg into here and kind of hold this all together. Retaining tab. Oh, and I knocked this out. All right, now we're going to take care of this handle here. So open these up, open this up, open this up, all the way. You're going to slide this down all the way. Make sure it gets extended all the way. On this side, same thing, slide it down all the way. Make sure it extends as far as it'll go. The little panel in here, you're going to fold that out. You're going to take these two, basically pull them together until they plug in. And there is Recorder in his recording mode. It's really quite good looking. The paint really shines figuratively and literally. Here, the red paint, the yellow paint. Of course, you can still open the uh, plat chest here. That looks nice. You got the button here. I, and initially, I was kind of taken aback by the look because the the chest is not centered, it's off-centered, it's just slightly this way, so it's asymmetrical. But then I looked at the cartoon, I'll put it up there, and it is dead ringer for the cartoon. It's intentionally that way. This is kind of shifted this way to make space for this button, and then this bottom part is not centered in the chest. So I just, I never knew that. I didn't realize that it was not supposed to be centered, but it really does look good. Here's the back, it's super clean. There's really nothing kind of like sticking out or anything like that. Nice flat area. Here's the bottom. All in all, a really good looking alt mode. Now you can store his weapon here. I'm going to take this, fold this down like this. Come to the back here, there's a little tab right here. And that's going to fit right on this slot right there on the back of that panel. So you can store that there. Nice little weapon storage. And before we get out of here, I know someone's going to ask, does the DS tape fit in the fans toys so let's check it 
Nope, it does not fit. So there you go. And for some size comparisons, there it is next to the MP10 Optimus Prime and the MP13 Soundwave, I think is his number. This guy is permanent alt mode for me, but it does look cool, you know, next to each other. I really like it. So final recommendations on the Fans Toys Recorder. I'm going to give this a 4 to 5. I'm going to recommend it. And I did kind of turn myself around on this figure. Initially, I wasn't really excited about it when I saw the Fans Toys videos. The transformation didn't look very fun and it just looked kind of fiddly. And also, you know, the overall look of this guy, you know, is very tune looking. And in some areas that can be turned off. But now that I have it in hand, I've played with it. I've transformed it. I can say I really like this figure. Um, it feels really good in hand. It's got some really nice die cast, which I actually forgot to mention. The feet are die cast, the knees are die cast. You got uh, die cast here on this lower body section here. Uh, and then there's some internal hardware also. This die cast has a nice weight to it. Overall feels good. The paint looks good and feels good. Um, it just is a very premium looking figure, which you would expect from Fans Toys, but um, this one is no different. It also is actually pretty fun and intuitive to transform, which was a shocker to me. Um, I like all the accessories. Everything works. The speakers, the fast forward here, you know, it looks good and it works in, in both modes. The alternate toy head is really nice. I'm not a fan of the stock face and this is one of the issues I think fans toys should have not used this face in their videos because it really doesn't look great it's not a good looking face but thankfully they give you three alternate faces with the bigger rounded eyes and I think it looks a lot better and you get the smiling face so you can kind of recreate some scenes so that is definitely a, a plus that I wasn't uh I wasn't expecting after I watched the video, but definitely seeing them in hand, it's much better. Now, is it worth upgrading from the deformation space? You'll have to wait for my Versus video to find that out, determine that. But for now, I definitely recommend this figure on its own. Um, pretty fun and what you'd expect from fans to us. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.